everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because sharing Ivory Spice is caring. Boom! Hey! And today guys, it's Manchester United 6 AS Roma 2. Yes, Manchester United six goals against Roma in the Europa League semi-finals first leg. Six goals up. Practically, you can say that we are through to the Europa League final. But let's hold our roll, settle down, you know, slow your roll, jabroni lads. The rock would say we are not there yet, but yet we are kind of there yet. Brilliant second half display for Manchester United. Breathtaking in the second half, you know. Five goals from the guys. Especially with that first half going 2-1 down in the first half. Rubbish performance in that first half. But Manchester United prevailing, sucking it up, becoming men in that second half. And making a comeback against AS Roma. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we did that. Guys, I'm happy. You Manchester United fans are happy. Manchester United Holics, we do this. You know what? It's looking good for us, baby. It really is. It really is, guys. Manchester United doing a thing. Sexing up Roma. Oh, you know, you know how many times Roma said their safety word? They were saying pineapple several times. Manchester United were like, mm, I ain't listening. Mm -mm, I'm going to give you this D. You're going to get this. Another one. And another one. And another one. You're like, pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. No, 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 no. And another one before you say your pineapples. No way, Roma. I'm so gassed, guys. I'm so gassed. Guys, remember to press that like button if you were so pleased that Manchester United whooped the ass of Roma. It was like deja vu, but this time it was like, you know what, Roma? Last time we played you, we did flash you 7-1. But you know what? Let me give you that one and give it that to you so you can make it 6-2. And at the end of the day, you lose with some dignity and some respect. And uh, they, they took that. They took that deal because why it happened, deja vu, 6-2. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's the highest win for semi-finals in Europe. Imagine I'd have, you know, achieved another record under Ole Gunnar's social stewardship. That's not me bigging him up. I'm just saying that that's what's happened, isn't it? That's what's happened. But boy, I couldn't say I'm more than pleased with that result because I was confident. I was confident, you guys. I really was. And I was saying to the guys on Bits and Bobs, on Beats Corner's page today. Of course, the United podcast. Check that every Wednesday around 7 or 8 p.m. I was telling the man, them, guys, I am confident. I think we'll do the thing. But yeah, we did our thing. And let's go straight into that first half, guys. 1-0, Bruno Fernandes. Brilliant play by Paul Pogba and Cavani. Oh, those one-twos. Pogba, oh, saucy. My mama said magnificent. <laughs> I'm saying, guys, it's beautiful. La Bile. The things he did. The things he did to twist up my man and then pass it to Cavani. Cavani feeding in Fernandez. And what a beautiful goal. From open play by Bruno Fernandez. It, guys, an open play goal for you haters. Brilliant finish by Bruno Fernandes to make it 1-0 to Manchester United in the first couple of minutes. And then those Pagans won one with that penalty. Of course, Paul Pogba unfortunate for the ball to just flick onto his hand. Which I thought it was a bit harsh and it wasn't really a penalty. But, my God, VAR was involved, of course. And they went through it, checked it. And it was a penalty. The law says it was a penalty, so I can understand. They're making it 1-1, boy. And then guess what, guys? Roma making it 2-1 with one of the pagans of them all. Edin Jerko, yes, former Manchester City player. Scoring that goal. Do you know what? He was absolutely lucky because it ricocheted over his feet and his knee and it went in. Brilliant play by Roma for them to get through. Which I have to say, Matt, Fred McTominay, all suspect in that situation there. Absolutely a joke for them. Why do we play a double pivot? This double pivot FC needs to stop. Why are we playing a double pivot against AS Roma and still we can see two goals, you know? We're playing two DMs. Two DMs, guys. Deep it. Two DMs and we are still conceding goals. With with Beavis and Butthead at the back, you know exactly that oh, we will still concede goals because that defence of ours, 
is shit. The only good thing about it is having Luke Shaw there and he's doing well. And Aaron Wabasaka as well was excellent today. You know, he's improving going forward. Half time, guys, 2 1 to Roma. I know you guys was probably thinking, what the F is going on today, bro? 2 1 at half time. What a shit performance in the first half. What the F is going on, bro? Oh, not again. Not again. Semi finals. Erectile dysfunction problems. I was there thinking, oh my God, we need a bag. We need that blue pill. Is this going to be a problem? Nope. It wasn't today, guys. Because guess what? We came back. We fully came back against AS Roma. And that's when it all started to begin. 2 2. Cavani. Bruno assist. Brilliant, brilliant finish by Edison Cavani. What a finisher he is. But oh, he frustrates you with the amount of good chances he missed, Edison Cavani. Big ups to him. And then, of course, our man again, Edison Cavani, making it free to capitalize it on the goalkeeper fumbling the ball into the path of Cavani. Great shot by Aaron Wambisaka, my brother, but, but it didn't work for you, bro. It wasn't going to work for you. Try to take a shot to score another goal. I like that you are confident and you want to score goals, Aaron Wambisaka. But boy, thank God Cavani was there for the tapping. 4-2, of course, penalty to Manchester United. Our boy, Bruno Fernandes, getting his customary penalties as always, guys, you know. It's not a game if Bruno Fernandes doesn't score a penalty, you know, for Manchester United, you know. You know what I mean? Bruno Fernandes was brilliant in that game. Making the assist, crossing it to Paul Pogba to making it 5-2. Labile was having fun as well, dancing and all that kind of stuff when he scored the goal. I know he's on this handshake, probably feeling the energy of everybody on the other side with that handshake where they do the dance and all that kind of stuff. Loved it. Pupapa was excellent, excellent. But Bruno Fernandes was excellent too. Two goals and uh, two assists, scoring his 26th goal of the season. For a midfielder like that, it is brilliant. Of course, star boy Mason Green was to capitalise him. Sealing it off, scoring the sixth goal, making it 6 2. Full time Manchester United being AS Roma 6 2. Brilliant second half performance, guys. I have to say, Manchester United Holics, it was one of the best second halves we've had all four on the early going social. You know, we played brilliantly. You know, we opened up Roma. Roma was looking lethargic towards the end of the 90 minutes, but who cares? Who really cares, guys? Man of the match, guys, got to go to Bruno Fernandes. Two goals, two assists, scoring a goal from open play. It's been a while since Bruno has been doing his thing. And it's been a while since I've even given man of the match to Bruno Fernandes. It could have been Cavani, but today, my man of the match has to go to Bruno Fernandes. Don't give the match has to go to McFred. McFred horrendous. Please, Oli, Liverpool, no, 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 no. Don't start them. Do not start them. I do not want to see it. But he's going to start them. What can we do, guys? We just have to just stick with this McFred. It's just, it's, we just concede goals when we have them. It, it doesn't work. It really doesn't have work. Manchester United Holics, soak it in, guys. Enjoy it because, boy, we might be through to a European final. And hopefully we get them scumbags, Arsenal. Because, of course, they lost 2-1. <laughs> Arsenal, ha, <laughs> ha, to Villarreal away but they, they, they got it away goal but you never know they can turn it in the second but i would love to play arsenal and beat them really want to beat them it's 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 needed all he needs to beat them as well but yeah guys it is what it is ah guys that's me that's your match reaction by ivorian spies you let me know exactly who, what you thought of that game. You let me know who your donkey of the match was. And also who your man of the match was as well. And what you thought of the performances of Cavani, Bruno, and also Papa. Because they were the guys did the thing for us. You get me? And of course, guys, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And the official TikTok account, which is red united tv and remember to follow my personal instagram account which is, which is ivorian underscore spice across the socials which is twitter and also snapchat and of course remember to subscribe smash that like button and remember to share because sharing ivorian spice is caring and as always my ladies as you're the one that watched me all the way to the end remember to share to your 
ex-boyfriends and also your current boyfriends and remember to share the link to your to the guy that's trying to move to you at the bus stop and you tell him i got a man you know and he's there telling me you're buzz anyway fam because he doesn't like rejection remember to share to the guy that tried to move to you at the train station as well remember to share to the chicken man that keeps on giving you a free chicken wing as well remember to share the shopkeeper that's been trying to get your number for a long time also your snapchat as well but he ain't going nowhere and also remember to share to your dad's uncles i mean your dad's friends that keep on telling you my oh my oh my you have grown because when you share them that link and they ask you what is this tell them you found that man that does it way better than you peace out guys i'm out